Maldives, a 1,200 atoll archipelago, spans 510 miles across the Indian Ocean. The coral islands, famous for its reef-ringed white sand and blue waters, are blessed with diversity of flora and fauna on the islands, reefs, and its surrounding ocean. Predicted to be one of the countries most affected by climate change and rising sea levels, Maldives is committed to achieve a carbon-neutral economy by 2020. Human intervention is required to cope with climate impact, to strategically confront environmental changes that are taking place. We are hearing that the sea level is going to be rise and the island is going to be down, so we are a little bit afraid. We just think that we don't have a safe side to go. We have to just transport from here to the another country. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they say Maldives is one of the most vulnerable countries in the world uh, to sea level rising. As the temperatures rise in the sea, uh, coral um, can't survive in those hot temperatures and we get bleaching events. And what will happen with these islands, they're protected by the coral reef around the island. Um, but if that's lost, that protective barrier would also be lost and the islands could be washed away. If let's say we continue whatever we're doing by not doing anything, like, you know, continue to burn fossil fuels, creating this global warming, etc. Yes, there will be a day when Maldives will really be submerged in water. We do not have any plans uh, for that because we don't know that what are the things going to happen. Yeah? It's time for us to start doing something. So we'll start now and then uh, we'll prevent it from happening. Hi, I'm, I'm Hilary Fontenelle, Chief Engineer of Suniva Fushi. And we're now standing on a very new 624 kilowatt Solar field, exciting project we're doing with Yingli Solar. Looking forward to having it up and running by the end of December or before. Yingli entered into the solar industry in 1996. We were listed in 2007 in the New York Stock Exchange. In 2012 and 2013, we were the number one in the world in terms of shipment for solar. And we have been involved in quite a number of large-scale utilities every year. As of today, there has been more than 11 gigawatt of uh, solar panels installed in the world. An initiative like Project Maldives is helping the country to move away from the reliance on fossil fuels, on diesel. Every island in the Maldives will have diesel generators. Um, moving to a renewable uh, energy like solar is definitely the right direction to be going. Um, it's something that we want to be a part of and, and, and I believe at the end of this project we'll have the biggest solar field uh, in the country. The rationale of this whole project is very simple. Soniva wanted to incorporate solar so that they can reduce carbon emission for the whole resort. And second thing is actually on cost savings because diesel is expensive. One of the benefits that we also discovered is that it increased the employment for the local Maldivians. Ingli will provide training. Local Maldivians will be deployed. So there's enhancement in skill as well. For Ingli, it's very simple. We just want to sell. We just want a new business. But then we start looking at how to incorporate the tool. That was when we realised that why not we start inviting people in. They can come in with small amounts, which will then make up for the full project cost. Everybody will get a chance to play a part in this project and therefore also increasing the awareness to creating a greener environment. Project Maldives aims to raise 350,000 US dollars. The solar system will complete installation in December 2015. Investors can expect an 8% yield per annum to be paid out every February over two years. It's a win-win situation for everybody. Even though you know, we're a small island, we have the possibility to uh, be a leader and to provide some solutions that other parts of the world can adopt. <laughs>